Lydia Daydal, Fight Connect TV, and I am backstage at MTK Global's Fight Night in the Macram Stadium in Bolton with a victorious, yet again, champion, Gary Cully. Irish and European champion. Yeah. Good to see you. Not done yet. <laughs> Irish, European, and world. world. Yeah, well. She's the biggest one. Yeah, yeah, not yet, but that's, that's it's on been, the way. It's been that long, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, for sure. Uh, good to see you, another win under your belt tonight. Yeah, um, experienced guy, tough man. Um, he's he's mixed at a world level. His four of his five losses were um, to world champions. He's been there with Stevenson, Berencek, Lee yeah. Selby, Scott Quigg, so. And um, we thought he was going to come over and ask some questions and, and teach me things. And uh, well, he, he did that, but I was just a level above in there. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the fans are wanting to see you tested in there? Yeah, and I wanted to be tested. Like Pete just said to me there after the fight, the scary thing is that nobody's seen the best of me yet because I haven't been challenged really in there yet, you know? So uh, I need somebody who's going to come and, and bring out the best of me and challenge me. Yeah. I know we, you, you've had an opportunity to be out in lockdown before, but is, does it get easier being in this kind of environment with a closed audience? And, and you know, is it kind of similar to the amateur days? Yeah, this one's actually a bit strange because you get so used to not having people there. The last night, I've had two fights in lockdown with uh, no crowds and they were both silent when you're fighting. And then all of a sudden we've got, it's, I know it's a small crowd. I think but 150 tonight 150 is the class. And uh, you can hear a bit of noise when you're fighting and that's a bit strange again. So. Uh, you get you, things just get normal, don't they? But it's, it's great to see fans back, and I'm looking forward to fighting back in Ireland with my with my own crew back. Listen, we're all waiting for that day, right? A stadium, I hope, right? We could do a stadium, I feel. We could do cheering in the morning. We could do cheering in the morning. <laughs> is there is there a big venue in Nice? Nice race course. Happy yeah, days. Outdoor venue in June will be great, wouldn't it? Uh, Electric picnic is a Nice race course, is it? Oxen. Oh, that's Strabbally. Is there a Oxen festival? Oxen was in Punchestown, that's but it's not right. on anymore. Okay, yeah, right, right. yeah. I never went to auction. I was too young for all that. <laughs> How bloody dare you? Just saying, I was I was uh, maybe 14, 15 when the auction. All right, I was only 15. I was rocking down there in the early days, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Necky you, Gary Quilly. <laughs> but listen, let's talk about the venue here tonight, mm. Macron Stadium. You said it has a little bit of a, a good energy or good feel for you. Yeah, I love it because I fought here against Kitajikov, obviously, and uh, it's just good vibes for me. Um, but it's it's class. Look at the look at the setup they have. It's uh, it's unbelievable. MTK Global are putting on serious shows, and um, yeah, to be televised as well, free stream, AFL TV, ESPN, class. Well, this is the thing that we're, we're discussing all night. Is that you know, aside from MTK, the management company, the events, having AFL TV, having this setup, it's such a fantastic opportunity for all their fighters. It gives you an idea of what is to come. You know, when you get onto those big stages. Of course, and it's such a platform for fighters. For just coming up through the ranks, I know I'm progressing a little bit more now onto maybe a fringe world level. But the, the likes of the prospects coming through that I was on the shows and I was a prospect too, and it's great to just get on that platform um, and to, to see that, like you said, the TV, the cameras, the lights, and just to get a feel for it all before uh, you're thrown into a big stadium full of 50,000 fans and then shit your yucks. <laughs> <laughs> you will be well able for that. I'm ready for it, I've been ready for it since I'm this high. Well. Um, you, you know yeah. what it's actually like because obviously we've known each other for quite a while and we've, I've interviewed you so many times and it's like you know that energy that like passion and that drive that's so apparent in you it's like it's almost like you're settling into that role does it feel like that when you're in the ring now yeah and not that it's like you said it's a it's a bit of a when you're coming through the ranks it's a bit new and then yes. you win a couple of bigger fights like I won the Irish title and more people start to get to know you and then you win the European title and it's just a domino effect and more and more people are starting to notice who I am and stuff and obviously that's always the goal setting out but when it starts happening it's quite um, it's quite daunting at the start and you kind of have to do settle into it and realise right this is a, this is what it's all about and this is what I want and I'm just kind of embracing that now and, and I'm loving it yeah. You have a poker face so you kind of have to put on your sort of Gary, Gary Cully the diva professional boxer face? Yeah for sure you've uh, maybe two personalities um, yeah. But yeah, no, I'm 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 the diva in here, and then I'm Gary Cully. You're a Gemini, though, aren't you? Are you no, a Gemini? I'm Aquarius. Aquarius? Are you Aquarius? Yeah, no way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. There you go. Um, but I don't follow star signs that much, do you? Well, you should. I am obsessed. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually I'm I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't know that about you. Why do you think I was a Gemini? I don't know. I just for some reason I just thought you were a Gemini. I think maybe when you said the twin per the twin, the two things, because I know Tyrone McKenna is a oh god, he's a Virgo. Right. Tyrone McCullough is a Virgo as well. Is that how you judge people off? 
Well, I just, I get, <laughs> Joe Gallagher is here. He's a Sagittarius. I get on very well with him. So I'm can't wait to meet Joe. Place. What? Yeah, very, very well. Yeah, that's why we have this bond. <laughs> that's why I'm not going to slap you for yeah. telling me I'm old. <laughs> uh, but listen, do we? I know you just fought, but do we have another date? Do we know when you'll get back out there again? Not yet. No, I'll take the weekend off. A um, couple of days out next week, and then get back in the gym, sit down with my team, and, and see what's next. But uh, I didn't take any damage tonight. I'll be back in the gym next weekend and ready to go again. Always so. fresh. Every post fight into you, fresh and ready to go again. Thank God, and keep it that yes, way, yeah. Absolutely. Long may it last. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. But listen, always good to see you. Gary Cully for Fight Connect TV.